Welcome along then to another production by FC Non-League Football. We're here at Haworth Park, home of Hall Road Rangers, for this East Riding FA Floodlight Cup final between AFC Ultra and TNJ Maintenance. The officials leading the two teams out here for what is sure to be a very keenly contested cup final. TNJ Maintenance looking to secure a league and cup double, whilst AFC Ultra look to redeem a relegation season by lifting some silverware and finishing on a high. So here we are in the 11th minute and it's a throw in to Ultra with the scores level at 0-0. They look to build an attack, although that is quashed by TJ Maintenance. Long ball clip forward. One for Josh Eccles to try and run onto as he uh, bursts down the wing, taken down. And he's won himself a free kick, although a little frustrated that the referee hasn't allowed advantage there. He's clean through an own goal, possibly. The free kick to be taken here by Josh Eccles. Clips it into the box. Sun in the keeper's eye. That's a big win of the header. Oh, and a great chance over the bar there. And TNJ Maintenance looking to build an attack here in the 18th minute. Good link-up play there by the front man. It comes to Cal Dransfield, who hits it from range. Oh, had us tempted for a minute there, but it's ultimately gone for a goal kick. <coughs> and the goal kick here to Ultra, who play it short, looking to build from the back. Under a little bit of pressure from the high press. Come through to Andy Taylor. First touch and shoot. Goal! First goal of the cup final. Andy Taylor for TNJ Maintenance. Very tidy finish, but ultimately a soft goal from an Ultra point of view who are trying to build from the back. You've got to admire their style, but it's cost them here. And down with the ball forwards here for TNJ as they look to build another attack shortly after their first goal. Eccles has it, but that's been well cleared out for a throw-in. Throw-in taken here, and that's a nice little one-two. Eccles looks forwards, building up the right wing. Alwan with two bites of the cherry here. Looks up, finds Eccles again, releases the shot. Return to Alwan, flicks it in, 2-0. Great finish. They're taking a stranglehold on this cup final. And that's quite an interesting celebration, but they're enjoying it. 2-0 TNJ. <laughs> Throw into Ultra here. As we've got 13 minutes left of this 40-minute half in this competition. 40-minute rules. And uh, the ball's getting played around in the midfield. A bit of head tennis here. It finally comes to an ultra player who spreads the play. Good ball out there. And Brannigan looks to bring it forward. Lucky Ricochet has it again. And it's, oh, there's a big challenge there. Might see the first name in the book here. They're not entirely happy with that challenge. And no surprises there, as Lewis Williot ends up in the referee's book. He's got nearly an hour to play now of this cup final on a booking. Ultra with the free kick. They'll surely see this as a great opportunity to get back into the game. Bounces around in the box. Only half cleared here. Flicked back in. Santiago Berry flicks it onto the post. What a great chance. And it's gone out for a corner. Almost, almost a route back into the game there for Ultra. Into first half stoppage time here now. As the ball breaks up the wing for TNJ Maintenance through the sprightly pull. Plays an early ball through. Commits the keeper. He's come. He's committed. Alwan tries to lob him. Great chance to kill the game off before half time. A 3 0 lead. Really, really would end it. You would think. Anyhow, the ball breaks again TNJ's way. A long ball forward to Andy Taylor, who's already bagged one. Winds up a big volley. And that has gone some way over the bar. Three minutes into the second half here. Remember their 40 minute halves. And Ultra, who uh, have had the team talk, uh, presumably encouraging them to push forward, are doing just that. The ball down the left hand wing here. Some good interplay. But unfortunately, that one has just petered out. And TJ have all the time in the world. Playing out from the back, perhaps they had too much time. That's rather loose, and uh, Ultra have earned themselves a cheap corner. Sam Newton to take this corner for Ultra, seeking to get back into it in the early in the second half. Ball into the box, big win off the crossbar, down, flicked in, nodded home. Luke Clark eventually turns it in, and that makes it 2 1, and it's all to play for. 
You do just wonder if uh, the sun was an issue there for the goalkeeper. He's wearing a baseball cap. Will the momentum now be with Ultra? Can they mount a comeback? And so a throw into Ultra here with half an hour left, looking to overturn this one goal deficit. Ball breaks again, TJ's way. And the midfielder's looking up, plays a little ball through. An off to on run there by Alwan. He's clear, he's through, he's rounded the keeper. Slots it in. Oh, they're going to contest this. Was it offside? Was it onside? Slimos will have to determine that, but for the time being, the two goal advantage has been restored. The dodgy celebration's out again, and Alwan has his second. 3 1 T and J. Free kick to be taken here by Luke Clark for Ultra. Clips the ball into the box. Unmarked at the back post. Oh, and he's not kept it down. Represents a great chance to close the gap to one goal. Free kick to TNJ. Delivered long. Good battle under the ball. Bannister with the turn and hit. Great save from the keeper. Keeps the deficit down to 3-1. Free kick here to T&J, taken quickly as they look to break. Can they add a fourth in the closing stages here? Ball into the box, a chance there for Andy Taylor, not taken. A bit of head tennis and ultra break away. Possible foul there on number 10. Here's what he's looking for, he stopped. You always play to the whistle and ultra have a chance to break. Although it's come back at them. And once again, ultra break. Dale Armit coming up the wing here. Tries to take his man on. Cuts inside onto the right foot. Plays a slide rule ball through. And Sam Newton brings an excellent save from Matt Johnson. Ultra pushing forwards here. No, they're running out of time. But TNJ win the ball back once again. A little neat one-two there with Andy Taylor. Has a little look up. What a ball this is. 40-yard diagonal. Good strength from Bannister. Hits it. Oh, in off the post. 4-1. Keeper doesn't move. And you could argue that that is the league and cup double. Pretty much in the bag now with only 15 minutes to play. Great finish. 4-1. What about that ball from Andy Taylor? <laughs> Ultra kickoff then. Get us back underway. 4-1 down. Knowing they'll have to push forward straight away. Could leave gaps at the back, but... They're going to need to score pretty quickly, otherwise the faint glimmer of light is going to fade away pretty fast. They're pressing the ball here, high press, they've won the ball back. Chance to shoot, oh he's taken down, surely a free kick it is, what a chance this is. Dead ball specialist Luke Clark standing over this one, looks confident, steps up. Clips the free kick over the wall. The keeper's pushed it out. The rebound's hit the post. Another chance here. And that's smashed over the bar. That is unbelievable. The keeper looks like he's paid a price for that magnificent save. Keeping the first one out. And then the woodworks come to his rescue for the second one. Just a few minutes left here. Ball clipped through. TNJ headed back to the keeper. Doesn't reach. He's round him. Can he finish? He's cut back inside. Trying to find the pass. There is the pass. The shot brings another good save from the ultra keeper. It keeps the score at just the 4-1. Taylor with the throw in here. Goes back to his uh, left back. Um, however, Ultra have won the ball back here in an advanced position. Great effort. Skips away from his man. Looks to unleash the shot. Well blocked. Ball into the box. Challenge comes in. It's a penalty. Is this the opportunity Ultra have been craving to get back into the match? So substitute Danny Scott with a chance to reduce the deficit for Ultra. Coolly slotted in. Makes it 4-2 with five minutes to play plus stoppage time. Gives them half a chance. And so Ultra reduce the deficit and TNJ look to break to try and make this 5-2 to kill it off once and for all. The winger here with some tricky feet. Look at that. Turns the defender inside out. Gets the ball across. Shot away. That's hit the outside of the post. What a great chance that is. Ball in the left back position here. Played forwards. TNJ maintaining their control on this game. Clipped forwards. And Ultra half clear it. However, TNJ come again. 
And that ball rolls harmlessly out for an ultra throw in. Oh, it's been given T and J's way, and they've, they've gone quick here. Ultra half asleep. Great chance. Ball across the box. It's got to be. 5 2. Oh, great save. Stopped by the defender and the keeper jointly. Well, we're into the last minute or two here. Still a two goal deficit now. And T and J have the ball. Goalkeeper kicks it long. First and seconds, both won by Ultra, who uh, come forwards here. Another long, hopeful punt forwards. They're sniffing about it. Oh, that's trickles in. Unbelievable calamity on goal there by Lyndon Hodgson. It's not one you'll want to watch again, but it's on the highlights, so it's there for everyone to see. 4-3. Surely it won't matter, as there's only moments left in the match. We're into the third minute of time added on here. Surely it's over now. T and J, 4-3 up. They're on the attack again. A nice little one too. What a great chance to finish it. That's one more great save there by the keeper. He's done himself proud today. And that's the full-time whistle. The referee brings it to an end. It's a League and Cup double for T and J maintenance. Our thanks as ever to 360 Chartered Accountants of Hull for sponsoring FC Non-League Football. Find us on Twitter and YouTube.